Uh, my name is Sean Miller. I'm a wildlife photographer and I've been living in Okinawa, Japan for over 25 years. And I've been concentrating on uh, wildlife photography since 2010, really focusing on the protection of endangered species and wildlife conservation. Hermit crabs, uh, as far as my series, is called Crabs with Beach Trash Homes. Okay, and it's a project that I started back in 2014. And originally in 2010, I found my first hermit crab that was adapting with a piece of trash, a pet bottle cap. And I was absolutely fascinated with that. And I didn't really find anything until about four years later, I didn't find more of them, right? So in 2014, I started really photographing the animals on our coastlines. And then I started finding more of these hermit crabs during the night. And so I decided to start my own project called Crabs with Beach Trash Homes at that moment. And so I focus on documenting hermit crabs that are using single use items. And it could be anything from a laundry detergent cap, from a pet bottle cap, from a bottle, you know, just all different sources of single use plastics that wash up on our shorelines or that are thrown on the beaches. Yeah, as far as it affecting the hermit crab population, I'm not absolutely sure, but I know it has allowed some of them to survive because there's not the available shells for them to use, right? Because they do fight over specific territory or shells. And so if they abandoned that and they didn't have a shell to use, now they have plastic to use, right? So it increases their rate of survival. But since so many people are taking over collecting shells on the shoreline, there's not an extra amount of shells for them to use. So now they're resorting to using actual plastic instead or single use items. Yeah, as far as finding them, you know, in, in the beginning it was just randomly running into them, right? And then after that, I started concentrating all my effort on going out, staying out during the night for long periods of time, looking for them on the shorelines and actually having people help me find them. So that increased the numbers. And I have documented over 80 hermit crabs that have been using um, trash, our pollution, our single use items on Okinawa, on the beaches of Okinawa and some of the outer islands as well as like Izena Island, Iheia Island and so on, yeah.